What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Landerris. You already know. You see it. You see it. l and Line Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Mm -hmm. Back at you. Hey, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, basically talking about your worth and when you out here doing jobs what's it worth for you and what you think is worth for the customer right now it's about no oh, 30 degrees outside I'm up here by this lake the wind is blowing leaves are going over here and over there and I gotta try to manage these leaves to kind of get them in a certain spot so I can kind of um, mulch them up. This year, some of my customers that I got outside of Blue Springs, I wasn't gonna run my leaf trailer. I haven't moved my leaf trailer uh, outside of Blue Springs. So all the jobs that I do from now on out is gonna be in Blue Springs when I'm sucking up leaves. Otherwise, if it's outside of Blue Springs, then I'm, I'm mulching them. Uh, I don't care. Um, it's, 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 it's the cost of gas is still up. And to haul around Black Beauty and the Juggernaut is what I call them. A truck and my trailer, my leaf trailer, which is the Ant Nimble uh, trailer system. I'm not I'm not trying to uh haul that outside going 45 minutes, going out an hour and then 45 minutes back or an hour, you know. Now, there are some times where um if I get a big job or a job that I actually want to do, which I kind of scale back on my jobs as far as doing bigger yards and things like that. Uh I'm trying to get cookie cutter homes quick in and out especially in blue springs where i can blow the leaves out and suck them up or i can blow the leaves out use my uh, uh my stand on leaf blower get them all in a pile and then come back and pick up the leaves uh which would save me a lot of energy uh might not save me on the time but it'll save on energy as far as uh how much work i'm putting in because that stand-on blower, it kicks butt. Uh, the Ferris uh, 1000. Yeah, it's nice to have that thing. Uh, but I have to kind of, um, I have options. Put it like that. I got options to pick them up with the leaves, uh, with the leaf trailer. I got options to, 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 um, to uh, mulch them up. So... Like I said, when I go outside, I'm thinking about dropping uh, my customers. Um, that's uh, outside of my area and just starting from there and just trying to stay and, and advertise and hit it hard for next year. Uh, just in my area, uh, especially with the leaves. There should be no reason why I got to go outside of my area to um, get leaf jobs. It's tons of leaves in my area. And, I, you know, when you first start out doing it, you want to try to grab everything. But I don't have the manpower or um, that's what it is. I'm, I have all the equipment that I need, but I'm still not as efficient because of the number one thing, manpower, uh, uh, employees, things like that. So it helps me out conserve my energy, but uh, say, okay, example. Say for instance, I go to do a leaf job and I bring my leaf trailer. Well, I'll blow all the leaves to where I need it and then I'll suck it up. There's only a slight, slight amount of time that's less doing it that way than to mulch them up. And it depends on the yard 
and the way the leaves are. There's a whole bunch of factors that go into it as far as the time factor. So um, uh, I'm still not as efficient on time, even though I got time um, uh, equipment that's supposed to save you time due to the fact that I don't have the manpower, if that makes sense to you. So, sometimes if I mulch the grass, I mean mulch the leaves, it still takes me just the amount of time to do that than to just suck them up because of the help. Because I don't have uh, the help to, to, to speed it up. So, but I'm kind of coming to realize that now. So, I got options where I don't have to haul my trailer, my leaf trailer around if I don't want to. Uh, I can just go mulch the leaves and be done with it. Now, like I said, now comes the time where you got to figure out what's your worth. What's your worth and what's the job worth for, the, for you and the customer? It's cold out here. It's 30 degrees. They ain't out here. You're doing a service, but you have to make sure that you are charging what you're worth and what you think the job is costing and the sacrifice, the time, and being out here in the cold. That plays a factor in your 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 um your your cost. Uh you can't do the same, you can't charge the same uh cleanup in the springtime that you charge later on in the in the in the in the fall and the winter. Because it's cold out here. Yeah, it's hot outside, but still, this is a different beast out here when it's cold and the wind is blowing and the wind's blowing and you're trying to uh, gather leaves in a certain spot and they're blowing back at you and all that. Now you got to try to figure out uh, which way you need to blow the leaves. And then you got some customers that don't want the leaves mulched up and all that. Uh, forget all that. You do the job where you need to do it. And if and if the customer doesn't approve of it, then you just don't do that job. You just don't. You know, if if you don't have the right equipment to do the job and, and they want you to pick up the leaves, then you, you can do it. But it's going to be very, very tedious. And it's going to be uh, that manual work is going to be it's going to be hard. And when it's 30 degrees out here with the wind blowing, man. It gets tough. It's just like in the springtime and in the summer. In the summertime when it's really hot, 90, 95, 97, 100 degrees, it just drains you. Same thing. So you got to charge accordingly. Uh, that's what I'm trying. That's what I'm coming to, 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 to tell myself that, hey, if I'm going to be out here in the cold, the price is going up a little bit. It could be an extra fifty dollars or extra seventy five bucks that I'm out here uh, toughing it out in this uh, this this uh, cold, windy day. Hey, look, leaves are blowing. Look, see how it's blowing? You see that right there? It's blowing out here. Look down there. It's blowing. It's blowing. So. Uh, I'm going to be up in here in this area right here and uh, I'm going to blow the leaves out and I'm going to mulch them up. I'm just going to manage them and then if I got to come back next week and do it or two weeks later so be it. So, But yeah, it's not that many like it used to be but yeah, I'm not I'm just going to run over these and mulch them up and I got another yard that I got to do down the way so uh I'm just gonna mulch them up and 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 blow blow it back into the yard, uh, and then springtime come, you can do a spring cleanup and 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 man, it's all about managing and management. As long as it's not a, not a lot of leaves where it's gonna damage the grass, the customer is fine. So let me go ahead and and, and and tackle this. But like I said, know your worth, charge accordingly to to the different situations. The different times of the year, you know, when it's cold, when it's really hot, when somebody asks you, hey, uh, I really need this done like right now. When they say I need this done right now and right away and you got other customers. Well, I mean, if you want me to actually do it and 
bump my customers to the side or one or two customers to the side to take care of you, I'm going to have to charge you more. And if they say okay, then go ahead and take care of it. But uh, you got to charge extra for things like that. And uh, just make sure you, you charge accordingly to the situation and the time of the season. All right, guys. Uh, that's what I'm learning. And I hope you um, uh, can can take some of this advice that I'm learning on the way and, uh, and go from there. But, yeah, charge accordingly to to what you're doing out here and uh charge for what you're worth uh but yeah all right guys I'm about to get out of here like subscribe leave your comments hit that bell button do whatever i know i look like a lumberjack donor i gotta trim all this up i know uh, yeah i gotta trim all this up and uh, and uh take care of it but yeah well i know y'all ain't seen me in a while uh but uh yeah but uh yeah, like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button, do whatever you do. Hey, subscribe to my channel. If you're looking at the video, subscribe to my channel. Um, so, yeah, like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button, do whatever you got to do. It's cold out here, but you better do it. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.